I am still on my prayer altar where I spent some quality time praying and interceding for our listeners. And while praying, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the lives of some of our listeners. Mm-mm. There is a woman there. You have been experiencing this strange blood discharge from your private part and also very offensive body order. Okay, you are the one. Let me pray for you. Almighty God has said in Exodus fifteen twenty six, You are the Lord that heals us. You are the great physician. You are Jehovah Rapha. Let your healing power come over this woman and heal her instantly in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. It's done. And let's hear your testimony. Mm-mm. Who is this other person? Now let me describe your situation. You experience this severe internal body heat. And any time it begins, it's so severe, you just feel like pulling off, removing all your clothes. At times, even in the public. Mm-mm. It's your safe situation, isn't it? Well, get a glass of water. Let me use it to pray for you. I do decree, as you drink this water, the power of God for refreshing come over your body in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Go ahead and drink it. It is well with you. Let's hear your testimony also. Oh, yes. With God, all things are possible. That's what Luke chapter 1 verse 37 says. Well, the Lord just told me there is a woman there. You are praying for a specific sex of baby for your next pregnancy. And I had the Holy Spirit spoke to into my right ear. Your desire is granted. Yes, your desire is granted. Praise God. Well, I've told you times without number. Do ignore your dreams anytime. Oh my God. Someone is there. And let me tell you what the Lord just told me. You are saying in your mind, this prophet never had anything about you. And you are feeling so bad. Well, let me tell you what the Lord told me about you. You will be reinstated from your lost job. Yes, they will call you back. They will reinstate you in your lost job. Indeed, you will be promoted, says the Spirit of the Lord. Amen, amen. God still has prophets in the land, and there are many. So don't ignore your dream anytime you have a dream. As soon as you wake up from the sleep, from the dream, just give me a chart, now written it, and freely by the grace of God, I will interpret your dreams to you. This is Charles Adebola's ministries. We are still on the topic, implication of sex in dream. If you ever knew the implication of sex in dreams, you will never joke with that experience. You won't find it funny. If you ever had that experience of sex in dream, give me a chat. I want to minister to you. Hmm. Let me tell you a true life story. There is this particular family, and I'm told that all the children in the family are females. They are grown up. Grown up, they are all females, they are all ladies, they are all women, no single boy, no uh, male child among them. And people notice that whenever someone comes to marry from that particular family, when you come to marry their daughter, within a very short time, you will become very rich, indeed, very wealthy. But it was also noticed that such men don't live long. Their son-in-law die young, die mysteriously. And so virtually, all of them are widows. Hmm. In interrogation, it was discovered that they have this experience of sex in dream. And you know one of the implications of sex in dream? It could be leading to mysterious death of the spouse death of the woman or death of the man. If I be a man of God, with this my mouth and tongue I used to pray, 
I decree over you and over me, we shall not die young. Look at Psalm 91 verse 16. It says, with long life will I satisfy him. That will be your experience. It will be your portion. It says, and show him my salvation. Psalm 118 verse 17. Indeed, you should memorize, memorize it and be quoting it from time to time. The psalmist says, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. How is he come to pray for you? That to be, af- oh my God, oh my God. I just had the Holy Spirit spoke to me. There is a couple there, you're having very severe misunderstanding and quarrels between yourself. Oh my God. And you are wishing secretly in your heart that your spouse dies. That is wickedness. That is wickedness. What kind of misunderstanding and quarrel could you be having? And the next thing you are wishing secretly in your heart is the death of your spouse. You need genuine repentance. You need genuine repentance. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, do return to this audio broadcast to all your contacts and to the WhatsApp group you belong to. And if it has been someone resending it to you, register directly with us for free so that we can be sending it more prompt to you. When you want to register for free, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. By the grace of God, it's about 12 midnight every day that we send our fresh broadcast. If it has not been delivered to your devices by 6 a.m., it's most likely to be the network issues. Just give us a chat. You are not bothering us. It is our joy to have it resent to you. The ministry you are listening to, we are into massive work of evangelism. And we do solicit for your voluntary financial support. You don't have to be a multi-millionaire nor a billionaire before you can support this ministry. There are those who support us regularly with 5,000, 20,000, 50,000, and even more. Whichever one you can do, even in the currency being spent in the country where you reside, you are being appreciated. Your tithe is 10% of your income and of your profit. And God made a commandment with a promise to bless you when you pay your tithe. In Malachi 3.10, I want to encourage you, become a faithful tighter to this ministry like we have several other people that are doing. Hmm. Anytime you pray or you fast on any issues and the answers are not forthcoming, don't get discouraged. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, God is a rewarder of them that diligently, underline that diligently seeking. Back up your prayers with sacrificial seed faith offering. Sacrificial seed faith offering is an expression of your faith and desperation before God. God honors faith. God recognizes sacrifices. When you need a banditist to do any of this, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. When you need further counseling, prayers, deliverance, ministration, interpretation of your dreams, or you want to share your testimonies with us, do it also on that number. This other number is for you to reach me directly for prayers. Plus two three four eight zero six double three one nine three six four. That spouse that I had a revelation that you had a disagreement with your spouse and you are wishing the death of your spouse. Give me a chat. I need to talk to you. Please do listen to this audio broadcast of all your contact. Today will be your best day in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.